Hi everyone, welcome to How Inez Rolls. I thought today that I would just show you what I'm doing for the weekend and other fun things that I'm doing in the weekend. So stick around, let's get going. Okay, first things first, because I had somebody ask me and I don't remember who, so I'm super sorry, but I just weighed this beast 23 pounds and I put it above my head up in the cabinets up here so it's a little heavy so if you are I love the KitchenAid mixer it's probably best to keep it on the counter but I, don't, I already have a lot of things on my counter so up it goes but let me show you what I'm doing so I brought my mixer down because I am making more glorious bread can you believe that it's just amazing what yeast does doesn't it so this is the first rise. So I'm gonna get it going for a second rise. But what I'm doing instead of making four loaves of bread is I'm only gonna make two and then I'm gonna make dinner rolls for our special um, Christmas Eve Eve dinner that is on a Sunday night. So Sunday after church. And that's what I'm gonna be showing you what I'm gonna be doing. So, so these are just gonna go for a second rise and I'm just gonna cover them up and let them do their job. And then the other half here I'm making into rolls. Now, the, I've never done this with before with my bread recipe. So I'm only going to uh, sprinkle some flour on the board and try to work them into little rolls. I can't imagine it be any different than that. This has just gotta go for a second proof and then it's all done. So before I do that, in case you're wondering, this shirt is from Walmart. I got it off the clearance rack and it was $7. So if you um, are near Walmart and you're going to run there anyways because you have to finish up some shopping, take a look for these. They do run a little bit bigger, so size down. Look, I have to put it in the dryer, so eh. But it's nice and comfy. And also my Inez necklace is on, so excited. So that link will also be in the description box if you want to get something special for a friend or even yourself. So very very cute i love it so much i've worn it like every day okay let me get going on this part now so i just put them on the pan wasn't that hard i'm gonna kind of make a little bit of space between them but i know as they proof they're gonna be like we are friends and they want to be together so we're gonna get that going Put a little tea towel over this one, a little washcloth, whichever you have, and wait about an hour or so. While those are starting to proof, I want to show you where we went last night. Another one of our traditional favorite places to eat. We're having our traditional Christmas dinner at Lucille's. We do it every year as a family. And so I'll show you some of our favorite eats here. So I am deciding on this or this. I love getting a good salad. So we're already starting to get some of the food. Kobe, what'd you get? Pulled pork. That's a good one. That's yum. That's always a good go-to. Ezzy, what you got? He was like, this is what Isaiah gets. He loves the country fried chicken sandwich. Yum. And I get the barbecued chicken. I decided to do that with the dressing on the side. Look at that. I love their onion straws. So good. Right, and Paul got his. What'd you get, Paul? And the mashed potatoes. So good. And then Jonas over there. Ribs. We're gonna need like some towels to wipe your face. So we have back row rebels here. It's my mother-in-law, and they love getting the healthy stuff. <laughs> so you have sweet potato fries. Sweet potato fries, vegetables, and virgins. Yes, so you can definitely eat healthy in a restaurant. Definitely. And Edie, you, you just kind of got some sides. Oh, I love how she's putting that on top of the potato. Two veggie sides on a potato. Looks good. 
if you haven't seen their page or their channel, you should go check them out at Back Row Rebels and they'll show you like how they lost a lot of weight. We just love coming here. So fun, festive, it's perfect. And it's perfect just to come any time of year too. <laughs> Wasn't that a great meal? It's one of our favorite things to do with my mother-in-law and my aunt, that we can do something together where we go out, and Lucille's has been it for the last several years, it feels like. So um, I try to switch it up and get some different things, but a good salad is just a good salad, right? <laughs> um, so I'm trying to think ahead, like tomorrow is church, so I don't wanna be cooking too much while I'm at church, so I think I'll get started on my creamy mashed potatoes. From the pioneer woman and i could put those in the refrigerator overnight put them in the oven to heat through when it gets closer to eating lunch i'm so excited so the only thing that i will be making tomorrow and i'll sh i'll take you along and show you is um a crock pot of ham a honey baked ham i believe and um some roasted vegetables so those are two really really quite easy so i'm gonna get the potatoes ready and tonight I'll show you where we're gonna go so fun all right I just pulled out these loaves of bread these beauties so we're giving them as presents so I did brush them with a little bit of butter mmm -mm. <laughs> they do look very good <laughs> but I'm gonna be able to taste some of those now they do look a little bit flat but I'm sure they're gonna be delicious now I'm gonna get started on some potatoes. Ready to go on the burners. These just came out of the oven. I put a little bit of butter on them. They look delicious and they puffed up nice too. So yay. And over here and in this corner, <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm making those yummy creamy mashed potatoes from the Pioneer Woman. And I'm gonna show you a little bit more in a minute. All right, you guys, I just put the potatoes in this little pan. I'm gonna put a little bit of um, butter on top and then I'm gonna cover it with foil for now. And then tomorrow when we're at church, I'm gonna have my oven set. And so it will cook and reheat through, ready for us when we come after church. But can we admire these rolls again? Oh my. We are on our way now to go pick up one of our sons from work and go eat at Chick-fil-A too. So let's go see what we're having for dinner. They're wearing their Christmas lights glasses. Those are super cool. I see Santas. They see like trains and Santas at all the Christmas there lights. There we go. So good. Yay. What are you going to get? Um, chicken soup and... A kid's meal? Wait, you can get a kid's meal? Yeah. I only got a chicken tortilla soup this time around. With some little strips. I Let's got, see those. Uh, I got kid's meal. How many are you going to eat? Are you going to eat them all? Are you so hungry? <laughs> and he just got strips. And then Paul, he got the spicy chicken sandwich. They have really good spicy chicken sandwiches. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Of course, we have to come tonight to hang out with the Phillips. They should be here soon. But we love this place. A tower? A tower. They should be here soon. So fun, huh? Here's what I get. I get frozen hot chocolate. Remember when I tried to make that myself? It was really good, too. And then Paul always gets the strawberry shortcake with Sprite Zero. So it's really good. Oh, there they are! <laughs> so, I could drink this so fast without getting a brain freeze, but Paul, on the other hand, can't really take a sip without getting a brain freeze. He's very sensitive. It's like sweet, sweet torture. <laughs> sweet, sweet torture. Sweet torture. <laughs> so, I'm trying to savor it, but I could drink it in like two minutes. My favorite thing about Fizz is that the kids play. And Emberlin and Ezra over there playing Connect Four. So fun. 
my favorite thing. They love. I love playing when they play. Yeah. That was so fun hanging out with the Phillips last night. We've been doing it a lot. Like, the, I think we've been doing it like every Saturday, which is kind of funny because I didn't realize we went the Saturday before. Lots has happened this week. Okay, so I went to Walmart and purchased that lovely purple ham. <laughs> I It was suggested by Kimmy from She's in Her Apron. So actually she had a live yesterday and I asked her if she had a video on this and she said she did and she was answering my comments and stuff like that, which was fun. So she said that was one of her favorites. And so I love getting recommendations like that because then you know it's gonna be good, right? So I'm just gonna put a little bit of sugar. Let me show you, um, not much, just this much. And I'm only gonna put about maybe this much of it just on the bottom. And then I'll have a little bit to sprinkle on the top, but I'll show you. How many of you make your ham in a crock pot? Now I'm using my multi-cooker, my Kasori uh, multi-cooker, which I believe I have a link below to the Amazon link to get one of these. They are awesome. So I've been able to use this not only for like crock pot type meals, but when I just wanted to cook some chicken breast really easily, quickly, and not use my burners because I had some stuff going on over there. Easy peasy, right? So I wanted to show you up close in case you were wondering what it looked like. The brown sugar double glazed. So I'm not sure if it's already, anyway, we'll see what it looks like inside. So I got it in the pan or in this cooker. And so my, my ham is about 11 pounds. So it's pretty big. So I just had to take off a little bit off the top for the, the lid to fit on. And all I did was just put it on the side over here. So all I'm gonna do now is sprinkle the rest of the brown sugar on top and then coat with the top of, um, and top it with pineapple. Now, I normally make this, we've oh, usually made these in a pan or a pan in the oven. And you know, it's pretty much cooked. You're just heating it through just the same way as, as this little contraption here. So I'm excited to just have something different and easier since we are on our way to church. And um, that way I don't have to think too much about it. I'm gonna get those yummy pineapples on there. My favorite pizza is actually Hawaiian, so this looks delicious to me. What is, you, do you like eating um, pineapple on your pizza? I know that there are people who are hard nose on that. Let me know in the comments because this is like divine to me on some bread and sauce <laughs> and a pizza. So I'm gonna get this going on my Kasori um, cooker. Oh, I gotta push those down, I'll figure that out. But, um, okay, so I'm just gonna push start. It's about eight o'clock, so this will be done at 2.15, which is when we'll be home from church, and I won't even have to think much, just get the, the rest of everything else going. So we're having the mashed potatoes. I've made the rolls, and all I have to do is make the veggies. So I'm still debating on if I wanna saute or roast. So we'll see what I come up with, but. Now we have to wait. Okay, I just pulled the ham out of the crock pot and it looks and smells delicious. So easy. We just came home from church. So I'm now just putting the finishings on the sauteing vegetables and then we're gonna eat. Okay, I have my plate and it is so good. I highly recommend the crock pot version of this ham. Oh my gosh, it is so good and these rolls, that's just the bread recipe. Just made into rolls, guys, easy peasy. Well, our Christmas Eve Eve dinner turned out excellent. I am so grateful, and I even have some leftovers for tomorrow, so I don't have to cook tomorrow. <laughs> so I'm so grateful that you were able to walk, come along with me over the weekend and just kind of see some of the things that we were doing that are special, not a little out of the ordinary going to Lucille's, but doing fun things with our friends and going to a soda shop. Also just, you know, hanging out, picking up my kids from work. It's just my life. So I'm so grateful that you've been able to be a part of it and stick around. I have something coming up so you know what I'll be rolling out next because it's going to be Christmas breakfast. <laughs>